guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly and we're going to do a haul today and I'm gonna show you a new toy, I guess, that I got in the mail that I found um, on Amazon and I will put a link, an affiliate link down in the description if you're interested in picking one of these up. Took it a while to get here. Um, I don't know what it is, over two weeks to get here. So, and I can't remember where it said it was coming from, but it took a while to get here, uh, as most things do from the post office these days. So I wanna get right into the haul. I wanna show you what I got. It's not a lot of things, but I haven't been out to do anything like this in a while. So it was really fun. It's always exhilarating. I love the treasure hunt, uh, you know, of finding something that may be interesting to redo or just use in the house or uh, whatnot. So anyway, let's just get started. So first thing I found was this basket. I love the shape of it. I love the shape of like a, an ice fishing basket. It's kind of got a fat bottom on it. And it's just a nice basket. It's got a flat back on it with a nice handle. Very sturdy basket. Um, very, very sturdy. I got it for $2 and it's signed on the bottom by Judy Judy Bullard in 2001, it says, but for $2, I thought it was a great deal. Now I got most of this stuff, uh, all of this stuff, except for one little thing um, that I got from a place called Possibilities, and it's a place that collects, it's kind of like Goodwill, where you can drop off your stuff and, uh, and they can resell it for you or just resell it, and the money goes back into, um, the dog vets uh, bills and you know when they bring in animals that need to have um, you know their shots and and surgeries and to be fixed up they use that money towards that and keeping the kennel going uh, where they keep the dogs until they're adopted so uh, it's a really great thing and when I do shop on Amazon uh, some of the purchase money goes to to their uh, cause, which I think is great. So I shop at their store every once in a while. It's a little bit pricey. Everything's gone up these days, but I think, I feel like the stuff that I got today wasn't too, too bad. And um, so that's why I picked it up and some of it was the best price ever, which is free. So, so let's get started. Well, let's get going. Um, enough chatting. So this is a small grater. It's just a little guy, but I thought it was so cute because it had the patina on it. It had the rust. It's got, um, you know, the oxidation and uh, stuff. So this has actually been used or it sat out somewhere. So it's looked like it's been used. And I got this for $3. I paid a little bit more for it, but I just love the patina of it. And I love making um, little lights out of these. Uh, and then I've also turned them upside down and I've put towel and use this as a holder. And then you could put a light in the top if you wanted to, but I really like to have these just sitting on the counter and you could use the big holes in the front so you get more light. Or if you use the little holes, you'll get all this little tiny lights when they come through and you can decorate the front of it up how you want. And I really love doing this, it's a lot of fun. So I also got this guy, this was only a dollar and I really don't know what it was, but it's rusty metal, uh, it's black underneath and I'm pretty sure I could do something with it. I'm pretty sure I have something that I could put in there. I don't have anything right up here right handy, but um, I could put a stick a little star in there and show you. You could, you know, you could put something in there and dress something up. Um, you could even uh, put burlap inside there and maybe put some some flowers or some pit berries or something with some moss and make a a decor uh piece that would hang on something but i don't know for a dollar i thought it was really cute maybe salt and pepper shakers it does sit or stand um you know so it could stand alone or you could hang it's got the nice hanger on it so i really liked it so i said for a dollar i'm gonna do it all right, and then wooden utensils. I love wooden spoons and um, the forks and things like that because I usually will either uh, sand them down, stain them, or I will spray them black and then uh, distress them. I've done that with a few, with another project actually. Uh, same thing when I use the grater on and I put them inside the grater. And I'll, I'll post a picture up here of that, but. 
I just put, you know, I did a few of them up and I put them inside and uh, hung, hung it on a basket and it came out really cute and I love it. So, um, I don't know, I thought these were really cute and these were only a dollar a piece. And I don't know, you could do anything with them. And these flat pieces, you could actually decoupage or stamp or do um, a clay mold or something on them because they're flat and they're a good size. So you could do something on them and then paint them up. So I always like those. Um, and those were a dollar a piece. I don't know if I told you that. So this thing, I thought this was really nice, this basket. Uh, I had a vision in my head when I saw it. Uh, this was $4, but it's metal. It's really heavy duty. Um, and I really like it. I want to possibly put a wood piece on the bottom, not inside, well, maybe inside, but uh, on the bottom with some feet and have it stand up a little bit. And I don't know, I just had a little bit of a vision of it. I haven't ever done it, um, but we're gonna see if I can do something different and I'm sure it will get painted different. Uh, but I like because it was so sturdy. For $4, you know, for a metal piece, not too, too bad. It's a little up there in price for me because I like to pay a little bit less than that. But it's helping out a good cause, so I don't mind doing a few extra or an extra dollar or two to help out. So, yeah. Okay, so on to the free stuff I got. So the reason why I stopped at this place, I was going to go in, but I stopped because they had two or three box. I think it was three boxes outside, and they always put them out in the corner, and it's free stuff. They just feel like they probably had too long and they want to just get rid of. And so I stopped to take a peek in there to see what they had. And this is what they had. This tea uh, pot is so, so cute, so pretty. I love the, the uh, flowers on it, so pretty. And this was $4, but I got it for zero, for nothing. It was in the free box. So I saw that they had a couple of them, but one of them was a little bit too fancy for me. This one, I think if I wanted to, I could paint up and then put some kind of a, a stamp on it or uh, even the molds, which I haven't showed you yet, but I, I was thinking about doing a mold on it uh, and painting, doing um, like the baking soda, thicken the paint with the baking soda and just doing a different paint job on this. So I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do with that, but it's really pretty on its own. The other thing is just a simple little tin. Probably get this at the dollar store. I have no idea where it came from, but I thought it was cute. Uh, and even if I don't use it for a craft, I could use it for some little plants that I have that I wanna restart. I have some herbs in the garden that I want to bring in, maybe not the whole thing, but I could start them in something like this and then um, transplant them or repot pot them afterwards. So I thought of doing that as well. And this doesn't have a, a price on it. I didn't pay anything for it. This was in the free box, but they, I don't know. I just like the, the shape of it and the little handles and everything. It was really cute. And then this other thing, you're probably gonna look at it and go, what in the world? But this I think is a tr uh, some kind of a tray. It probably sat in something. It's got a little indent there and then the indent in the middle here. But I really liked it because it had this really cool lip on it. It's almost like a little jagged. Um, it's beaded actually. It looks like a beaded lip on it. And uh, I really liked it. And I thought I could see it with some kind of a pedestal on it and up. And I could actually I have some clay molds again. Um, that will probably be my next video, just a hint. Um, and make some clay mold things to go around the edges and dress it up a little bit and maybe glue it on there and give it a paint job or maybe leave it the way it is. I'm not sure, maybe distress it, I don't know, with some cinnamon and, and uh, stuff and make it look rusted in some spots and things. But I really liked it. They had it there. This was $3 in the store and then they marked it down. It looks like to a dollar, they put a little line through it. And then I guess they decided they just wanted to get rid of it. So here it is, I got it for free. So those three things for free, which is what I originally stopped there for, but I love it. I'm so glad that I stopped. So I went to another store, it was a clothing store, but it actually had some uh, decor and some crafty things in the corner. And one thing that I saw that I was interested in were these 
uh, stars, these rusty stars. These were $1.99, and I got three of them. They had a whole pile of them, but I thought, well, for $1.99, it's, it's kind of a good price. It's probably what I would pay like in a craft. I used to go to Craft Mania and pay something like that for this size. It's pretty good. But um, I, I'm running out of these bigger ones, and uh, I can make them out of wood, but I really like the metal ones that look rusty. So I got three of these for $1.99 a piece. So those you'll probably see on something in the future, I'm sure. So my new toy that I got that took so long to get in the mail from Amazon was this mold. It is chicks or a chick and a hen and a rooster and a weather vane with a rooster on top. Love it. I just can't believe I got this. Finally, it took like two weeks. It was, it took a while, maybe even closer to three. Um, but I finally got it in the mail and I'm excited to do some projects with this, probably incorporating a couple of these things in there as well. But I wanted to show you, I did a few the other day so I could get them to dry a little bit with my, my, um, my air dry clay that I have. And this one is the rooster that came out of this mold right here, if you can see. So he came out so cute and I did him ahead of time because what I'm gonna put him on is flat. So I think what I'm gonna do is my next video is gonna be just a bunch of things that I'm going to put these on and then probably paint them up. Maybe all the same color, maybe different, not really sure. This is the little hen that, um, that I did out of this one right here. Um, and then I got a little chick. I, th I did them all for you so you could see ahead of time. Just a little quick glimpse of, where is he? There he is, down there on the bottom, right there. Or now he's on the top. But yeah, he came out really cute. And then here's the little nest, which is cute. That came out of this part here. And the weather vane, I don't know if I can pick the weather vane up because it's such delicate little pieces. Yep, okay, it's gonna let me. It's an advantage of letting it dry a little bit first, but anyway, there's the, the weather vane. Hopefully you guys can see that. So lots of little pieces on that one, so it doesn't, doesn't come out as well. Um, but it'll be cute anyways, because it'll probably be on something that'll be distressed and, and look a little bit more farmhouse, country primitive, you never know. So that's all I got for my haul today. And that's all I have for my new toys that I ordered, and for right now anyway. And uh, look forward to seeing probably my next video that comes out, me using some of these molds on some of the products that I got here and some other things that I have that I thought of that I wanted to do. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day. If you'd like to see some of the other things I've done with molds, click here and here.